When Richard and Aisha married, they already had their hands full with 12 children between them. But never in their wildest dreams did they think that their union would come to this. She likes to go out. She likes to go and hang with her friends. She likes to do things. I would like to get out more. <laughs> but and you can't. I, would like I wish to do you things. could. Because you you're the like stay-at-home dad at this point. In yes, time. I am. Stay-at-home dad. He don't have to get a life. He wouldn't be a stay-at-home dad. I can't get a life if I'm at home staying home with the kids. Mrs. Thomas, are you out and about running around? If I do make a girls' night plan, he's calling every 15 minutes. You're he the dad. For only you're the dad. Why no, are you calling honor. me? Richard says he wants to save the marriage and keep his family together, but Aisha says she's through today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Aisha Thomas and Richard Thomas, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. The two of you have been married for four years. Mr. Thomas, you want to stay married. You want to save this thing. You've come here to help me t talk you in, talk her in to staying with you. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Thomas, you have other thoughts all together. And we're going to get to that and we're going to talk about it. You've been married for four years. You have two children together, but you have a grand total of a dozen children between you. Twelve. And uh, we're going to talk about that. And if we cannot work out a compromise, you do have, you want me to, to address the issue of transitional support. And I will do that if it becomes necessary. But before we do anything else, Mr. Thomas, I'm going to start with you and ask you why you've brought her here today and, and what would you like to happen? Well, first of all, I mean, I would like for us to communicate better. I would like for us to be able to uh, work on this for our family. Uh, we've been in it, in it for about four years now, and a lot has happened and a lot has gone on, and I really don't want to separate my family. Well, tell me what's going wrong. How did we end up in a place where you've got to come for help? Well, I mean, when it, when it comes from me on, on my end, um, I don't really get to go out nowhere. You know, I'm basically at home a lot with the kids. <laughs> I, you know, we have seven in, within our home. We do have a dozen. Um, I'm at home. Some of them are out or, yeah, like, some or elsewhere, are out the home. but you got seven, seven that in live the house. at home. Yeah. I'm home with them all the time. Um, I, I love being with, with the kids. She likes to go out. You know, she I, likes to um, go and hang really? with her friends. She likes to do things. I would like to get out more. <laughs> but and you I can't. Would like I wish to do you things. could. Because you you're the stay-at-home dad at this point. In yes, time. I am. Stay-at-home dad, so he don't have to get a life. He wouldn't be a stay-at-home dad. I can't get a life if I'm at home staying home with the kids. Somebody needs to be home with the kids, period. Uh, uh, Mrs. Home. Thomas, are you out and about? Am I I'm going to ask. No. Mrs. Thomas, Your are Honor, you out and about? I'm not running allowed. Around? to be out and about. That's if I do make a girls' night plan, he's calling every 15 minutes. I was out. It was my girlfriend's birthday. We're out and about. I asked before I went out, babe, do you mind if I go out, you know, with my girlfriend for her birthday? Yeah, babe, go ahead. I got it. Everything's cool. Fine. We leave. I don't have a cell phone. My girlfriend does. Mm -hmm. He calls her. At, he called, Your Honor, no lie. Every 40 minutes, he called for something. The like last what? time he called, he said the kids are hungry. You're be the dad. For only You're 40 the minutes. Why no. are you calling Your Honor, me? On that day, here's what happened. On that day, on Christmas Eve, which is her friend's birthday, um, we were supposed to meet at her cousin's house to um, have Christmas the next day. We had just moved to California, and we didn't want to have Christmas without family, so we went to her family house. I took all the kids with me by bus. She was in the vehicle. I got lost on the way there. She know where her cousin stay at. I do not. I was calling uh -huh. every 40 minutes because I was lost for three hours. I was lost for three hours. I asked out. her to come back and at least try to at least get me to my destination or at least a clear view of that. And she was, oh, I'm already out. I'm not driving. No, We're here. We tried We're there. to get some When I got there, Your Honor, <laughs> Of course, I'm just not meeting this cousin, so I'm just not going to open the refrigerator and bust out and start cooking right. all over the stove and everything like that. I'm going to call my wife and say, where's the food that I asked you to bring? When I called, her friend picked up the phone, and she's like, what do you want? I want to talk to my wife. Well, what do you need? Because Why can't I speak to her? What is this she doing Mrs. that I can't speak Mrs. to her? Mrs. What Thomas, type of friend I is tell that? you something. If I was in the auto bus with seven kids, 
and my husband was somewhere with a with a buddy of his, and I'm trying to get to his relative's house. You're gonna want that buddy to come and say, "I'm right. blowing him up until I get exactly. there." Exactly. Exactly. That was wrong. Figure it out. Wrong. And he didn't and have seven kids. He only had three now, of seven. Now let me. Tell you, I understand that you have, and given the fact that you have twelve children, it's not a surprise that you have some baby mama drama. Oh. So, Mrs. It should Thomas, be a you surprise because he don't have any baby daddy drama. I Never do has. have baby daddy drama. Well, why Here's don't you tell me what is the issue at this juncture about other? Baby's parents. Okay, here's my issue with this. Okay, here's my issue with this, Your Honor. Some of her baby daddies make bro broken How promises. How much? I've been doing the whole stop. thing for the last four or five years, and none of them came around. Nobody bought nothing. Ain't nobody came by. Nobody called on no birthdays. When they do call, they making my kids broken promises. Now, what I'm trying to avoid is not the fact that they can't call and be and and and, and, and be around them, but stop making broken promises and sending my kids hopes and dreams down the drain and hopes of a relationship with y'all. So I'd rather not them be around. Period. Don't be around. We don't need you. We we can do bad by our damn self. So if if you're going to be around and be around. Well, Mrs. Thomas, I guess I, my understanding, your uh, part in this baby mama drama thing is that you believe he gives his other baby's mamas more respect than baby he gives you. Baby mamas and anybody else. I feel like I should never, if I have to be disrespected, that's personal between us two in an argument. Well, I give don't me feel an like example of the other disrespect woman. you feel from him. He, a baby mama called. It was their child's birthday. They're talking, happy birthday, hey. You know, baby mama gets on the phone. She's in the background. Wah, 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 wah. So I hear the, the kids say, mom, you know he has a wife. You know, calm down. She's like, I don't care, la, 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 la but she's talking to him. He's, he's all passive aggressive. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna just call you back. But if it was me on the other hand, I'd have been all disrespectful and everything. And I don't feel like, any woman should get that. If someone disrespect me, he should be all over it. Just mm -hmm. like if one of my baby days or any man disrespects him, I'm going to be all over it. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we should be. When Divorce Court continues, how did Richard ruin Aisha's big day? Uh, you didn't even have a proper wedding. How did that one thing affect the other? Are you dealing with baby mama drama or baby daddy drama that has you ready to divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Richard Thomas, who wants to save his four-year marriage even though he charges that his wife doesn't communicate with him. But is Richard really the one to blame for the demise of this marriage? He let a lot of drama go on. Call the police. Her whole family is on my porch all because of him. Let me ask you this. You say that all of the drama that he has with exes and baby mamas and all the people that he has out from his former life, uh -huh. or what we assume is a former life, uh, you didn't even have a proper wedding. What, how did that one thing affect the other? That effect, it affected us because the baby mama was jealous, of course, I have what she wanted, of right. course, right? You know, so right. since she's all dramatic and all hostile and big and whatever, he felt like, oh, well, if we make this wedding, publicly announced, and if we have a church wedding, she's she going to come and crash it. So let's get married to Justice of the Peace. Babe, that's not what I want to do. This is my day, our time, you know? And who gives a damn about what anybody else say, feel, or would do? We shouldn't make our wedding day about what somebody else would or should or could do. No, it should be about what we're going to do, period. It should that's her example of what the all. wedding was supposed to be. It's my day. If uh -huh. I want to get married, it's just not her day. It's both our days. Well, Mr. Tyrus, I'm going to disagree with you on that. It isn't both y'all's days. It's her day. Exactly. And, 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 and we made it her day. You know, okay. you know, it's gender day. equality and all of that, but the wedding day is all about uh -huh. her. I can it understand really that. And if she about didn't want to do it, nobody put a gun to her hair and what made her mean? do it at all, neither. So if she didn't want to do it that way, she didn't have to do it that so way. What about she accepted it at that time. Hang on, hang she on, accepted hang on, it at the time stop. because that's what she wanted. Here's you. my thing is, 
first time being married, I'm not gonna have a wedding that's ruined off rip. If I can have some type of securement to it and still be happy, uh, then that's what I'm gonna do. If you, you know what I'm saying? Why should I have, have to go your through drama, it? We wouldn't have, we would have had a perfect wedding if you would have man up like you were supposed to. Bit of I my can't man handle my drama if I it. can't handle my drama. Like she said, uh, how she felt can't. like I should have handled it on the phone. Ms. 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 Thomas, you seem awfully mad about all of these women out there that he used to be with and what they do. But I'm you taking know care of her control and, and, and that. seven kids. He can't you know control he that. Can't control I that. have a lot of control over my life and what goes on and what don't go on. The if control like she it, has is not, not talking happen. to him. That's Period. the control so she has. She's fussing and hollering at him because he's not fussing and hollering at her while she's fussing and hollering at him is not helping That's anything. Not how is it okay for another broad to holler at him and I'm not able to? It, it, I mean, Why would that be okay? He let a lot of drama go on. Just like a baby mama, we, you know, if you have custody of a child, you know, the kid go on the weekend and right? the kid stay with us, right? It's time for the kid to go. Mommy time right now. But instead, he wants to keep the kid. It's a court order right here in our face. Mm -hmm. It's time for this kid to go. But instead, he wants to hide the kid. We got to jump fences, call the police. She, the whole, her whole family is on my porch, all because of him. You do this you not, for you, what? You got to obey that court order, Mr. Right. Thomas. There's no right. playing with that. At the he time, didn't obey the court I, I order not, because, because you wanted to look at her. Stop. Listen, it was my child's birthday, OK? And I wanted to spend that time with my child on their birthday, really? period. So that's what that was, and it was one isolated incident. Yeah. It's never been a repeated but, 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 incident but, 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 yeah, since. But, but, Mr. Thomas, we're not playing about those orders, and neither should you. You can have a day after the birthday party. He, it doesn't matter. It was the 17th, in the, the 16th. The, the Mrs. Time Thomas, to be quiet. I am so sick of you. Thank you. I really Thank am. You. you are a nonstop irritant in here, and I did no wonder. No wonder you look. You, you feed the drama just like those other women are feeding the drama. Oh, I just should feed the drama. Yes, no. it shouldn't be in my life. No. At all. Oh, Mrs. Thomas, you'll always have drama in your life because you're dramatic. I'm always Thank you. Thank you. I'm dramatic. Thank you. Yes. Hi, I'm, dram I'm supposed to be dramatic. No. 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 Why not? <laughs> because it doesn't help. When Divorce Court continues, what will Aisha say for herself? One time, she went to the store to get some groceries. It's been two hours. I called her and say, hey, you know, where you at? Oh, I'm around the corner. She don't bring the groceries home. She go around the corner and sit at a girl house with a car full of groceries. How does that make sense? I'm at home with the kids. You can't at least bring the food back and then at least Did you do that? Yes. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Aisha Thomas, who wants to divorce her husband of four years because she says he gives more respect to his baby's mamas than he does to her. But is he controlling, too? You say he's controlling. Explain that to me. Bridget is very controlling. I was going to get my nails done one day. My girlfriend says, come on, let's go where I go get my nails done at. It was a weekend. We were gone for two and a half hours. I come home, why the hell were you gone for three hours? No. I went to go get my nails done, babe. It don't take that long to get your nails done. How would you know? <laughs> it's a weekend, you know? We're girls, what, what are you talking about? Now, it's two nail shops. She went to one, but there's one right next door. You're going to send in one for three hours instead of going right next door? And then what the tripped off part is, when she came home, her nails fell off. I mean, they, they, they messed up. It was all, she had to go back the next day to get it fixed. They, and it was empty. I'm yeah. like, you could have went next door. You could have went to the one around the corner instead of being gone for three hours. And then in between that, the three hours that she was gone, I called. Hey, you know, is everything OK? No. Did I get a, the call back? No. Did she answer the phone? No. When she come home, she say, what's the problem? I don't want to get my nails done. What's the problem with you seeing a missed call and not even calling me back after you got your nails done, telling me that you all right and everything cool? So what am I supposed to think? You sitting next to two nail it. shops. You're going to sit right. in one for three hours and not go to the other one and say, I'm pressed for time. Let me go over here and get I'm this one done. Thomas, Miss Thomas, Miss Thomas. I don't think that's controlling. At all. I, I think that's, you know, you know, if I told my husband I'm going to get my nails done and I'm going for three hours, like, hey, where you been? I mean, if he's going to get, get that's something cool. done, I'd like, where you been? Right. That's so cool. He... Yeah, and one time she to went go... to the store to get some groceries. She said, I'm about to go up the street. I mean, like, six blocks from us, okay? She's going to, going to the store to get some groceries, okay? It's been two hours. 
I call her and say, hey, you know, where you at? Oh, I'm around the corner. She don't bring the groceries home. She go around the corner and sit at a girl house with a car full of groceries. How does that make sense? I'm at home with the kids. You can't at least bring the food back and then at least Did eat you the water. Yes. Come yeah. on. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm at home with the kids waiting on the food. Come home. Why would you do that? I would. My girlfriend sat around the corner. Her baby has a, a tumor. I went to go That's see. That's not why, no. We're talking. Her old girl, come on over and chill, well, and she I, went. I, I, you know, I, I, You're no one block away. Answer. You're hey, one block hey, away. Hey! No disrespect, but the kid will still be sick after your kids are fed. My kids weren't hungry. It was stamp day. I went to the grocery store. <laughs> I was getting out of the house. I have six kids and a nagging husband who's very needy. I need some breathing room. Yana, well, then how she come just every took a trip. story we've gotten told in here has you out with your girlfriend? Yana, she, she just went. Tried. She just went out of town. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn tells it like it is. Miss Thomas, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This man loves you and he wants to stay married to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, this. I don't Thomas, get that. Nobody else this gets is that. Not fixable without professional help. She yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma it's not going to work. Divorce Court returns with the case of Aisha and Richard Thomas, who have 12 children between them and are divorcing after only four years of marriage. Ms. Thomas, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This man loves you and he wants to stay married to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, this, Mr. Thomas. I don't Thomas, get that. Nobody else this gets is that. This is not fixable without professional help. She yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, ma it's not going to work. Yes, ma'am. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. I mean, you're not a perfect man. I'm not saying that. You're not a perfect man, I but agree. you're making perfectly good sense to me. No, he's not. So, he just so, up here uh, putting on his front. She got a whole lot of, no, got a whole lot. Hey, he may, you can't even front. Right. Your, your no stuff is so this. wound up, you can't I, I even don't need to. Well. Why would I? You're not coming across as reasonable. You're not coming across as somebody mm -hmm. who makes good decisions. I'm telling you that. You have not achieved that. Okay? And you haven't achieved it because you don't know what it looks like. And you'll never know what it looks like until you're able to stop talking and getting all tied up in what you think and what you need and what you want and listen and hear what somebody else is telling you. Mm -hmm. That's that that's what it is. And you you need to go and get some help with that. Honest mm -hmm. to God, because you'll never be okay with any guy you get if you're still running around in that tornado in your head. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. And I mean that in all, you know, I don't want and you to. You don't give me no tornadoes. You're just all, yeah, no, I'm up here. I'm I give her flux. I'm, I'm not a perfect man, yeah, but okay. I do a damn good job have you at, ever gave at being her man. Out? Did you ever tell her about your flaws and your issues? I do have flaws and issues. There's you no have, human being on this earth that's perfect. I had an perfect. opportunity to speak to you on several occasions and ask you, what's he doing wrong? What's going on? You told me stories at that at the end of the day implicated you. You did. How? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh. You said you were control, so controlled you can't go out with your girlfriends. And then, you know, nine girlfriend stories later, we're still talking it's about that. It's not nine girlfriends. Your Honor, no, it's not. My no, I, I don't even want to get into it. I don't even want to get you into it. More, have, Mrs. Much Thomas, you really do want to leave him, which I think is about the most foolish thing that you could do. But you want uh, $650 a month for the next three months for rent. Uh, for transitional support. Why don't you tell me why you believe Mr. Thomas should pay that amount to you for support? Mr. Thomas should pay that amount to me because we got into a contract together, a lease in an apartment. Okay. And, and so you go want to put him out and, and, and the lease is six fifty a month. You don't have to leave. <laughs> you can stay there until his lease is up. If you want to leave, then that's fine. Well, you want to leave. You said when I want to leave? I'm so confused. I really... <laughs> Mr. Thomas, I wish you the best. Thank you. All the luck in the world. Thank there you. will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right! Parties may leave the courtroom. Aisha and Richard report they have been doing the exercises that the divorce court aftercare counselor taught them and are trying to make their marriage work. Aisha is working on not bringing up the past and is listening more and complaining less. Richard says that the show made him realize that he's a good person and shouldn't be made to feel bad about himself. They are working hard to stay together for their children's best interests.